Hello, and welcome back to ProValtech's channel. Today, we're zooming in on a feature that allows your clients to identify your business branding within the Data RMM portal. Personalization plays a key role in reflecting your brand's identity, and Data RMM understands that. To get to the branding section, go ahead and open up the Data portal, go to Setup, and then Branding. And from here, we can see several different options. So at the very top, where we're going to get started, we'll see the user interface. So this is where you customize the header of the Data RMM interface and reports. We can see here at the very top, we have our header set here. We have our logo, and then we have a black background set. So you can choose any of the options here. If you want to go to change your logo, click Edit. And then the header background color, this will accept a hex code. But then if you also click this little box here, you can then choose to whatever color you want. And then again, click Save if you want to go ahead and modify that. Scrolling down here, we will go ahead and see Agent Settings. This is an important one, as this will be how the agent looks on the endpoint that you are managing. So when you go ahead and do a patch reboot, this will be the logo that pops up for the reboot. This will also be the um, you know logo on the agent itself when they open it up. So this will be if they go to create a ticket or look at the summary of their machine or look at tasks, this will be the logo that pops up there. And again, your company information will also be in here. And if you needed to change any of the text or any of the options in here, you do have a 200 character limit. Um, you know, by default, it kind of gives you this 195 character. But if you wanted to change anything in here, you can do that as well. And then the last section in here is the agent icons. And this is an important one because the agent icons allow you to set different settings for different uh, functionality within the Data RMM. So you can see here we have online, offline, privacy mode, etc. in here. These will all change depending on what status the agent is in. Um, so for our instance here, we have them all set as the very same, but in your environment, you may want to have different logos set up for different actions depending on what the machine is in. So we can see here things like privacy mode, for instance. Again, privacy mode on the data RMM, that is going to be where the agent is currently connected and the privacy mode is enabled. So privacy mode is where it will not allow the user to automatically remote in without the uh, user's access. They have to manually approve the access to remote into a system. Um, if you want to go ahead and do that, sometimes it's nice to have a user where they can turn on privacy mode and they know that it's enabled simply because the icon is different or they can tell, um, you know, if the data RMM agent has not checked in, um, you can set an offline icon. That way it's really easy to have a, a user check their icon in their tray to see if, uh, you know, the machine is offline. Uh, there's a couple different options in here. Again, once you change them, just go ahead and choose upload and then save at the very bottom and that will go ahead and get all of your options in there. And again, these are just some of the options in here. You can customize to your need. And there are other settings as well within the setup in here that may be beneficial to you. But this will just be the branding section, which we'll cover here. And that's a quick glance at it. So stay with us for more insights into the world of tech solutions. And if there's anything specific you want to take a look at or learn, drop a comment below. And as always, hit that subscribe button for more updates. Until next time.